We have this one covered pretty good. Welcome inside our San Francisco studios. It's inside Pac-12 football, the digital edition. Mike Am, Curtis Conway, Yogi Roth with you. Washington and Arizona State, it's a game right here on the Pac-12 network. I make reference to covering it pretty good. You're going to be on the call. You're on the pregame show at 11 a.m. leading into this game, which kicks off at noon. So I'll start with you here. Arizona State, we continue to talk about how much pressure they bring on quarterbacks. Jake Browning, a freshman quarterback. How under the gun is this guy going to be? I don't know. I, I don't think they need to put a lot of pressure on the young quarterback because they're not throwing the ball that efficient right now. I think right now, focus on the run. You know, you can get caught up in the blitz and all of a sudden you see a running back going right by you. So I think this is a game where you don't blitz as much. Now, you're talking about Todd Grant. I mean, I don't know if he's going to listen to me and do that. But, Yogi, I don't really think this is a game that they need to do this. I think this is a game that they really need to win. Three losses in a row. This is not what we expected of Arizona State. They don't need to blitz this team to win, especially on the defensive side of the ball. They, knew, they do need to play sound defense because Jake Browner is getting better. It, it, it's a great call. I mean, the last two games, and you watch them on film, Arizona State has blitzed the least amount throughout this entire season. Jake Browner, when you watch him throughout the season, he flashes. You look at the first quarter against Utah, was incredible. Really operated that offense. A lot of movement plays, a lot of nakeds, play actions, a lot of counters in the run game. That's the type of stuff I think they need to do against Arizona State, because regardless of if they blitz or not, they're an extremely aggressive and fast defense, meaning they're going to try to fly to the football. So I think some of the misdirection stuff that we know Chris Peterson for, their offensive coordinator, Jonathan Smith, that'll be key to this game. And Jake Browning, when it's clutch time, He's going to have to deliver, and he's kind of been hit or miss throughout the majority of the season, like the majority of freshman quarterbacks. But if they want to win, because Colbert's are on the line in this ball game, yeah. I think he's going to have to make critical plays on third downs. Because on third downs, pressure's coming, yeah, and that's when he's got the opportunity to make plays on the field. No, it's funny, and just sort of a random side note here. Glenn Parker was on Sports Report Monday night, and we had asked him about Coach of the Year. He said Mike Leach, but I think Chris Peterson's name's got to come in the conversation mm. based off of where. See we what happens game. in November. Yeah. Yes, that's, I think, a huge factor here, and a win against Arizona State could help his cause. Once again, you can catch the pregame show. Curtis Conway will be sitting right there starting at 11 a.m. <laughs> Pacific time. Yogi, he won't be here, but he will be calling the matchup. We're looking forward to it. And at the end of the night, it's Pac-12 final score, a full recap of everything that's happened in week number 11.